NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. I'm Greg Bledsoe, and this is your morning update for Wednesday, November 25th. San Diego County just set another daily coronavirus record. We had more than 1,500 new cases reported just yesterday alone. We've now seen more than 1,000 new cases for the last five days. There were about 17,000 tests reported yesterday. 9% of them were positive. You might remember in early November, that number, our positivity rate was around 3 to 4%, so it's about doubled or tripled since then. There were also 16 new deaths reported yesterday, bringing the total now here in the county to 984. And today, San Diego County Supervisors are considering some more financial help for businesses who, that have been impacted by the restrictions. They've called an emergency meeting at 2 o'clock this afternoon to vote on making $20 million available for business relief. If that money's approved, it would be divided up evenly between the five council districts. The money would come from the county's general fund. And last night, Vista Unified announced that it will shift all secondary schools, so middle schools and high schools, to virtual learning until after the winter break. So starting next Monday and through the remainder of 2020, students will go back to online classes. The district says it's making the change because of the impact that the virus is having on the larger community, not necessarily schools themselves. And it's creating some staffing challenges for teachers and other school employees. The superintendent, though, again, clarified the decision is not because of any growing number of cases within the district. And in the South Bay, the Sweetwater Union High School District is releasing a progress report on how students are doing with distance learning compared to how they were doing last year with traditional learning. The number of D's and F's has gone up this school year, 8% for all high schools. That's compared to last year, again, when students were in the classroom. And for middle schools, those D's and F's have gone up 13%. Spokesperson for the district, Mandy Rubio, said the district is addressing the problem in part by providing in-person instruction for small groups of students who are having a harder time right now. Parents say that the district, though, needs to give more families a choice of going back for in-person instruction if they feel comfortable. College basketball is back tonight. The Aztecs start their season tonight at Viejas Arena against UCLA. UCLA is 21st in the country right now. It's been eight months since the Aztecs have played a real opponent. This is the first time UCLA has been to San Diego for a game against the Aztecs since 1991. Tip-offs at 7.30. There will be no fans in the stands, though, of course. We will continue to bring you the latest news here at NBC7.com and on TV. And, of course, you can always learn more on our podcast every day. Today in San Diego, we always talk about the day's biggest headlines and how they're affecting the community. So go check it out. Make sure you subscribe. Then it just shows up there automatically every day. Stay safe. Have a nice day. NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. We know how. For the safety of your family, the furnace in your home needs to run efficiently. Call Bill Howe today for your 15-point furnace tune-up and safety inspection. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. Bill Howe. Because we know how.